Well guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be fitting some wheel spacers to the TT, basically to try and bring the wheels out a little bit because I think they just they sit in the arches a little bit too much for my liking. I've done this on the Twizy as well. Um, I kind of needed to do it on the Twizy because it enables you to change the bolt pattern so you can put more standard fitting wheels on. Anyway, this is what I've gone for on the TT, Bimec, Bimec, whatever. Um, so I've got basically 12 and a half mil um, front spacers and I've got 15 for the back so there's the 15s there as well someone recommended me these on the Facebook group the Audi TT Facebook group um, and yeah they look pretty good quality and also the good thing about these they come with obviously all the extended bolts because you've got to go through the whole spacer and you know into the uh, into the actual hub as well and also you get a locking wheel nut kit as well which is super helpful so let's get to work then First up, TT comes with one of those annoying little metal kind of wheel cap, bolt cap thing. So I've grabbed one of the plastic types to make it a lot easier. Ugh, put them in the foot wheel. So annoyingly, I actually ordered on Amazon a impact wrench, which was supposed to use Makita batteries, which when it turned up, it didn't actually fit the batteries that I've got. So that's a bit annoying. And also it didn't have the correct size socket on it. So that was a bit of a no go. I was hoping to get this off nice and easily, but it looks like I've got to use my trusty old standard wrench. Had a few Christmas dinners lately, so I'm all right. <laughs> Other annoying thing is I'm well equipped today is I haven't got my trolley jack, so got to deal with this thing. I actually hate these things. I do actually like these wheels. I was thinking of changing them, but to be honest, they're actually pretty good. Oh, I forgot to do the locking wheel nut. Right, wheels off, nicely by the drain, just in case I drop anything. So basically, you can see the sort of like, kind of chamfered edge on that, that you've got to have that on the wheel. Um, aftermarket wheels, I think it varies, but on the official kind of, you know, OEM wheels, they do have that. So you can see that actually fits, fits nicely. You can see that fits nice, nice and flush on there. No issues. You don't want any kind of movement on that, but yeah, I think that's fine. Start by offering that onto there. Try and get it into a position. Does it better? Yeah, it definitely brings it out. Let's do the back one. Actually, if you use the locking wheel nut as the first bolt you put in, then you can actually sort of do it without, you know, you can do it with your hands. So you've got this. Whereas if you're, if you're stuck with using that tool, you know, old school, it's a bit more difficult. It's gonna take a little run around the block, I think, to settle this suspension back down. Be so careful not to chip the wheels with this thing. Ah, just pinched myself with this stupid thing. Ah, oh, got through it without any injuries, apart from that. Right, guys, we're done. I think that's pretty noticeable. It's really subtle, but that's kind of what I wanted. I didn't want it to be ridiculous. But you can see just on the edge there, it just sort of sits them out a little bit more. I think that looks better. Let's have a look at the front. Oh yeah, I changed the uh, screen background as well. Right, no weird noises, no rumbles, no vibrations, nothing like that. Seems all right. 
tomorrow, I'm going to get a grill fitted, new grill. Got a honeycomb gloss grill to go in the front. So next morning, guys, I'm going to get the grill fitted today. So this is an aftermarket one from eBay. I picked the one that looked the best quality, and again, other people have kind of ordered the same. And it looked pretty good on the cars that they've put it on, so I thought I'd go for this one. Um, I'm actually going to get this fitted by a, a sort of local garage because... It is a bit of a job because you've actually got to remove that grill from the bumper, take the bumper off and I'd, yeah, it's just going to be a mission doing it without a workshop. Right, it's a bit later in the afternoon. I've been told it's done. I'm just going to the garage to um, to pick it up. Here it is. Right, so I think guys, that looks pretty slick. What do you reckon? There was a slight little thing because of this sort of inside bit here. You can actually see part of like, where the, you know, it's part of the plastic inside there that this actually fits to but I don't think there's much you can really do about that. But no, overall, I'm happy. I think it looks pretty, pretty slick. And with the spaces as well, I reckon that's looking pretty good.